Hey friends, it's Kay. Welcome back. And it's Vlogtober, day number two. And today for me is October 1st because I film everything a day in advance. So today I thought I would do another we uh, like monthly, not weekly, <laughs> monthly reset vlog with y'all talking about last month and then talking about this upcoming month, the goals and aspirations and just reflecting on my life over the past 30 days so that I can stop and say like, hey, I did some stuff and not to feel bad about the stuff I haven't gotten to yet. And uh, maybe y'all can do the same thing. So let's get into it. Okay, so here's my Notion template. This was not created by me. This was created by my friend Katie Calloway. I will link her channel down below. She's a wonderful creator in the both the Animal Crossing space and the vlogging space. Um, and she created this wonderful template so that you can reflect on every month and your goals and stuff. So let's talk about September. So uh, what did I accomplish last month? So last month was, there was a lot going on. So last month I started waking up well, I actually started this in August. I started waking up at about 5 a.m. to 5.15 a.m. every morning. And I established a morning routine that I feel like was a really positive change. I found the last, like the first few days really difficult, but by the time I got to like day four or day five, I was like kind of in a routine. And I have to say that I love the early morning hours so much. I appreciate being... Uh, alone, having it be quiet and having no one to focus on except for me for uh, like at least a few hours. There are very few emails coming in at that time. There are no calls coming in and my dog's even not even up. So I have that time to sort of really spend time being creative or just relaxing and I really enjoy it. So that was really sort of cemented last month. And last month I also committed to a bunch of music stuff, which I'm super excited about. The first performances of the season haven't started for me yet. I'm starting a little late this season, but it's coming up really soon. I'm actually feeling a little under the weather today. I'm hoping that nothing serious is happening, but if all stays healthy and everything like that, we'll do my first gig on the 15th, which I'm super thrilled about. Um, and I am redoing my entire website. I'm really excited. I own um, theorganizedsoprano.com but I now have three brands. <laughs> I have my singing brand, my organized soprano brand, and my K-Daisy brand, and I have been sort of having them all live in separate places, and I decided that it was not a good idea, and so to combine them all, I am almost finished the website. It'll I, it will definitely launch by the end of the month, but I hope it launches by the end of the week, actually. So um, I got started on that and designed that. I also got a new gaming PC in September. I think it was September. And I'm really, really loving it. I finished finally my brand deal <laughs> with YouTube Brand Connect. So I have a fun story. I don't even know if it's worth it, but I'm gonna tell you the story anyway. So normally when I do brand deals on my other channel, I you work with the brand directly. I send them an email um, or they send me an email and we, negotiate through email and we do the deal through email and sometimes we go through um, a platform. There's a few platforms you can go through to, to, so that creators get paid. There's one called Four, there's one called Grin. Um, so you sort of sign contracts over these platforms and then you get paid sort of in a very, it's, it's, it's a kind of a, a, a surefire way to get paid and so the brand gets their stuff and then you get your money afterward. YouTube has their own platform like this. It's called Brand Connect. And I think it only launched like three years ago. I applied to be a Brand Connect partner two or three years ago. I don't, I still don't know how long they've had that program. And I've never gotten a brand deal from it. I've just kind of been existing as I had never gotten a brand deal from it. And then two months ago, randomly, I get two offers from Brand Connect. And I'm like, oh, that's weird. So I turn one down and I accept one. <laughs> And so I do one brand deal connect, well, brand deal for brand connect. And I'm, but I'm also talking with the brand through email as well, not just through the brand connect platform. And at one point they asked me to like change a graphic for like a higher resolution graphic. And I'm like, yeah, no problem. That's my edit I can do. So what had happened is I uploaded the video un unlisted onto YouTube. That's what you can do, you know, before the brand approves your video. 
And, you know, they were like, can you please, you know, change this graphic for this one? It's a little higher resolution because they sent me a graphic that was low resolution for some reason. And so I was like, yeah, I can do that. And I, I deleted the video that I uploaded to Brand Connect saying that this is the first draft um, because they didn't say, they did not not approve it. They just kind of left it there. And then by doing that, deleting the video, I canceled the brand deal through Brand Connect. I didn't realize that that would happen. So I had to contact YouTube and say like, listen, this is what happened. And they said, oh, sure. We're just going to like go backwards a couple of steps. And when you upload the video, have the brand approve it and everything. And I, we, and I did, but something happened and it never like went through as approved. Um, I had a, the hardest time getting the brand to like click the yes button. And the video had already been up for like 20 days at that point. And then I noticed that I got a really small payment through Brand Connect, like 20% of the agreed amount. <laughs> this is so nuts. And, and I was like, wait, what happened? And so I had to contact YouTube again and there's a whole thing, but I, I, it's finally fixed. So good. Um, so, I mean, I have n the, the YouTube Connect Brand Connect program, people who I've talked to have been really nice and also the people on the, the brand side have been really nice. So like, it was just like a glitch in the matrix, I guess, but it was like a very long process. So that's finally taken care of. I now have a content plan for Vlogmas. I'm doing Vlogmas a little different on the main channel this year. Everything's gonna be pre-filmed. I'm not gonna do daily vlogging over there. I might not do it over here either because it's gonna be pretty busy, um, but I'll do like regular vlog content over here um, if y'all want it. But I really am proud that I got the whole like plan done. Our scripts are written, everything is planned out. So I'm really excited to film. I'm gonna film over the next several weeks and hopefully have everything uploaded and ready to go by the time December 1st comes around. Yes. And I learned an entire Bach aria. That's something that doesn't happen a lot. So self-care last month included the getting up at 5 a.m. Uh, I continued my workout routine. I work out three days a week. Um, I walk on the other days with Clover, of course, on the days I'm not doing my workout. And I am staying committed to my healthy eating plan. I uh, completely changed my diet a few months ago and it's still going strong. I find it very easy to stick to and I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the way that I feel. So, and I think that I have a lot of like mind clarity. So the, the buy-in is there. So I have no incentive to like not keep doing it. Um, and it's super easy and delicious. So I'm enjoying that. And I feel like that's self-care. Uh, notables from math last month, I did travel to be with my mom, as you saw in the last video. That was um, really, you know, fun bonding moment for the two of us. Uh, the books I'm reading, I'm only reading one book. It's called The Big Fat Surprise. Um, shocker. I am eating low carb. So of course I'm reading all of the, th all of the low carb things. It's an interesting book. Um, it's worth a read. Um, music and games. Uh, again, Bach, big, 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 big. I mean, he's my favorite composer. So I loved even listening to more Bach last month. And uh, this, I think this was music and podcasts originally, but I changed it to music and games because I do play a lot of video games. And Fae Farm came out last month and I love that game so much. It is just so sweet. What a sweet game that is. I'm really enjoying it. I think it's one of the best releases for um, all platforms actually. Um, what challenged me last month? Singing. <laughs> Singing has challenged me pretty much all summer, but I think I'm, I'm, getting to a better place. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Uh, key lessons and takeaways from last month is that there's a, a concept that I've read about recently called no zero days. So I'm the kind of person who feels bad if they kind of sat around and has done nothing toward my goals. <laughs> and I want to make sure that I make one positive step every day toward my goals and aspirations, even if it's like the smallest step, like I can do nothing for a day that I'm on vacation, but I, you know, maybe I might answer an email or something, or I'll look over my notes for um, my church service on Sunday, you know, just something so that I don't get a zero. And I feel like it's easy to maintain as long as you give yourself at least five minutes and you can totally do it. It's totally realistic. And I have also learned that sometimes just doing things for pleasure is really important um, because I love to stay productive and be productive. It is not the end all and be all of like whether or not I'm a good person. 
I feel like sometimes I do need to sit and play games for myself or read or just be in the moment. And um, that I, you know, I had had some really good walks when I was out of town at my mom's place because she lives in, you know, a, a, a kind of big neighborhood and they've got beautiful parks where you can walk. And in the morning it was kind of cool out and there'd be dew on all the grass. And one of the most beautiful things I I did every morning was to like find all the grass spiders. If you don't know what grass spiders are, they're like a species of um, funnel weaver spider and they make their webs in the grass. And in the morning, they're all covered in dew. They're beautiful. And and what they do is they they weave their themselves a little funnel, exactly like the name, and they hide in there. <laughs> and, you know, when a, when a prey lands on the web, they kind of run out and get it. And my game was to, like, find all the spiders in their funnels. And it was just fun. It was, like, a fun thing I did for myself. And it reminded me of when I was a kid, you know, like, just doing stuff just for fun and and to realize the beauty of the world. And I feel like I should do that more. Um, okay, oh, notable people. Um, I'm back at rehearsal at Cantata Singers. I was so excited that rehearsal started up again. And I have really been enjoying singing again with friends. Uh, we're gearing up to do the, f- I just said, I almost said Foray Requiem, but Durifle Requiem and some other pieces. And I'm really excited, love that piece. Um, movies and TV. Listen, I watched The Golden Bachelor a few days ago, and I if you hate The Bachelor franchise, I totally understand. It is trash TV, but The Golden Bachelor, where The Bachelor is like 71 and the women age from like 50s to 70s, it's the wholesomeness you didn't know you needed in your life. It's, it's feel-good TV. Give it a chance. I, I'm fully 100% invested. 100% invested. It's beautiful. Um, purchases and products. Well, I, my coffee bar and all of the fall decor I bought, I'm obsessed. Obsessed. I am more obsessed with the coffee bar than I thought I would be. Like, I'm like full on obsessed. Um, we are, my husband and I are talking about getting an actual espresso machine. We're like very, we're, we're, we're kind of serious about it. We want to get the Breville Bambino, but There's we're not. To stop here. I don't know what Siri said, but we're just going to, we're just going to be mindful. Anyway, we're planning to get an espresso machine, and I, I'm very excited because I, coffee, coffee and tea are like my two favorite things in life. I think in the kitchen, coffee and tea are everything. Like, I don't know what I would do without coffee and tea. I mean, I guess I'd be okay, but like, who wants that? Oh, I didn't say anything, but I also bought a new MacBook Pro for the first time since 2019. (laughs) So my MacBook Pro was from 2019. It still ran well, but it didn't run Final Cut Pro very well, so I couldn't really edit on the road. So I bought the MacBook Pro before I traveled so that I could edit while I was on the road. Sadly, I didn't do too much editing. I only got one video posted, which sucks, but I was so happy to have it and it plays The Sims really well. Okay, miscellaneous moments, memories. Uh, I loved decorating for the fall season and getting a lot done as far as accountability for my singing career. So last month or the month before, I took an accountability course that my voice teacher ran and it was a class over Zoom and we all talked about our sort of issues about their singing career and everything. And it was a really amazing experience. It was worth every penny I paid for it. And I have an accountability, but accountability, accountability buddy now that I talk to once every two weeks. Um, and we sort of hold each other accountable on the things that we are supposed to be doing. So I actually need to like schedule some things. So I have been really enjoying the like accountability class. Uh, is it's it's returns so um, really really great so let's talk about October so October my goals and habits for the month are my health and wellness are to keep going keep going on my um, exercise routine that's been really great um, but to buy heavier weights I do have a new trainer at future and I she just, she definitely advised me that I need to buy heavier weights because we talked about what my goals were and my goals were basically, I mean, not to be like totally vain, but my goals were to like, I said, I was going to bring sexy back in 2023. And so I really want to get more, um, 
muscly arms. <laughs> I really want to have more cut arms. So she's like, well, you have to buy heavier weights because I only have five pound weights. So I got to get 10 pound weights and that's going to be quite a change, but I think it's going to be worth it. And plus, I think that it's going to be fun to like see what I can get accomplished. Anyway, um, with career and business, we're going to finish the website and we're going to put together my holiday brand pitches. I plan to uh, have a whole package for Vlogmas for the main channel that I'm really excited about seeing what happens with that. I really need to organize a schedule for Kay Daisy. <laughs> I used to have a really consistent streaming schedule that I didn't want to call a schedule, but I used to stream on Mondays and Fridays and post videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I don't know if that's really realistic, but it might be. It might be. I mean, I could try something like that. As long as I batch content, I'm usually fine, but um, we'll see how much I can get together on that. I'm about to make some videos for KDZ right now, as a, as a matter of fact. My first performances of the season are coming up this month. I'm so excited doing some stuff from Tremonesia, which I'm super excited about. Tremonesia is an opera by Scott Joplin. And yes, yeah, so that Scott Joplin, the entertainer, Scott Joplin. So imagine like a Scott Joplin opera. The music is so good. The libretto, not as good, but... It's good to do that music again. The last time I was, Trumanisha doesn't get done very often. And I did it in, I remember it's probably like 2008. It was a long time ago. I was a wee baby singer then. And I'm glad to do it again in my 40s. So fun. Um, and my last goal for business is to bring the ping. There is a whole, my, okay, my voice teacher and I have been talking about my ability to resonate well. And... I think that we've come up with a strategy where I can really make it happen. I feel like I, a light bulb went off and I think, I mean, I really have to keep practicing, but we'll see what happens. I think that if I correct this like sort of one little tiny thing that's I'm unhappy with with my singing, I think that things more things will start happening. So wish me luck. Um, in the finance goals, I really need to make my appointment with my accountant um, for January. So I'm going to get that going maybe next month, but I'll definitely get that going. I'll have that as a reminder here. Um, and I'd like to learn how to do latte art next month. <laughs> I just, or this month, I just want to. I just think that they'll be really cute and fun, right? I, I don't know. Um, and my last little bit of self-care is to daily practice singing to make sure I don't get out of shape too much with singing. Um, I think that that is sort of a crutch for like, I'll, I'll be re in really good vocal shape for a while and then I'll get out of shape and it's bad. Um, and I will continue to do no zero days. Um, that's a, a, a form of self-care for me because I feel like if I've done one thing a day, of course, if I'm like sick or like unable, then I'm, of course that's not something that I should count. But if I'm able to, I definitely want to do like one thing a day that is in a, that's a one and not a zero and no matter what it is. And I have so many ones that I could actually do per day. So it doesn't matter which one it is. Like I'm not gonna do like practice and uh, gaming video and organize a video and vlog and you know, write an article and you know, I don't have to do all that stuff. I just have to do like one thing. So um, I think that's reasonable. So there you have October in a nutshell. How's it looking? <laughs> These videos kind of inspire me. So they're good for me. I don't know if they're good for you to, to hear what someone else has been up to, but I know that I'm the kind of person that feels like I need to reflect on things that I've done or I feel like I've done nothing. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this Vlogmas. Vlogmas? Oh my gosh. I hope you enjoyed this Vlogtober video number two. Happy October and um, have some tea. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.